How far is the farthest star in our galaxy from Earth? That's a good question, Noah. Um, our galaxy is about 100,000 light years across, give or take. Um, it's actually quite hard to define. Uh, is it the edge of the stars? Is it the dust that comes out of the galaxy? You know, so it's quite a big thing. But let's say, roughly speaking, about 100,000 light years across. And we're on the uh, about two thirds of the way out on, on the on the edge of one of the spiral arms. So uh, so um, it's something like if you if you travel as far as you can across the galaxy, it'd be, let's say, just less than 100,000 light years, something like that. So that the farthest star in the Milky Way that maybe a little bit less. What make is the jacket you wear in the promo photos for the Horizons tour? Hmm. Well, Austin, it's a very good question. And um, I think the more profound question is um, how did the jacket come to be? I mean, admittedly, it was assembled by a company, but how did it come to be? If you think about it, the component parts of the jacket, so the, the ultimately the quarks in there or the protons and neutrons have been around pretty much since the beginning of time that they were made in the first mini torso in the life of the universe. And then many of them were assembled into more complex structures, atoms like carbon, oxygen, iron, you know, the, the, the components of the molecules in that jacket were assembled in long dead stars. So I think the story of the, of the origin and evolution of the components of the jacket is actually more important and interesting than the story of the people that assembled those components into a jacket. I mean, I must say, the, the, this, the story of the, the, the how atoms came to come together in structures that could assemble a jacket and even conceive of the idea of jackets is also interesting. That's the story of the origin and evolution of life on Earth. Um, but that, that's a whole other story. So it's a very good question. And I hope I've satisfied you with my, uh, with my answer to that question. Professor Brian Cox, Horizons, a 21st century space odyssey, live on stage, using state-of-the-art LED screen technology Theatres and arenas will be filled with images of faraway galaxies, alien worlds, supermassive black holes, and a time before the Big Bang.